All right, I want to make a quick video on bearings. Uh, give everybody kind of give you an idea about give you a basic rundown on bearings and different applications and for racing and other things. I wish someone had made a video like this a long time ago and put it on YouTube. That way I could have uh, just watched a video and learned all this instead of researching and looking up all this stuff. First off, you're going to want a ceramic bearing. And the reason you want a ceramic bearing is because the small balls, which are actually inside of the bearing, those are more true on ceramic, meaning they're more of a circle. So when they're more circled, they're more smooth and they're more true, the whole bearing will spin better, faster, easier. So that's why you want a ceramic bearing first off. Now, I'm going to get into the rest of these bearings right here, starting with this bearing right here. This is a team associated st steel bearing. Now, this bearing has this black shield on it, and sometimes these bearings are in different colors, like on my Trax truck, I think it's a blue. Different vehicles, it's different colors. Now, this bearing provides, this shield on this bearing, the black thing insert you can see here, this provides the most protection for the bearing. So this keeps out uh, most dirt. So this is the best thing to run on like a dirt track or something really dusty or on a bash vehicle outside. You know, there's no reason to put ceramic bearings in a vehicle that you bash with. It's just not the, it's not going to be worth it. Plus, they're like $8 each. These couple of these ceramic bearings here are like $8 each. So, this provides the most protection of any of the bearings. But the issue with this bearing is that it, it uh, has a lot of restrictions. Because it has such a tight seal on it, the bearing doesn't move as smooth or as easy. So, it's not as free as most other bearings. Provides so... The good part is you can use this in really dusty tracks outside. It'll provide the most protection for the bearing, but it doesn't spin as freely. Now, next we have a ceramic bearing. It says ceramic, and this has a metal shield. This bearing will spin f easier and quicker than the other bearing will because the metal shield has less restriction. Now, I run on a high groove damp track that's blown off and wet in between each run. So it's not dusty, it's not dirty, and I run these on the outside of my front and rear axles, and on the inside I run nothing. There's no, there's no, because these are all sealed inside the hub, so there's no protection on this side. So they don't, these bearings don't get dirty at all, hardly. I mean, I clean them very rarely, and there's hardly any dirt in them, because they just, like I said, the track that I run, it's not real dirty, they keep it real damp, so there's not a lot of dust, and they keep it blown off, so there's not a lot of crap flying around on the track. This one is what Avid RC, which is where I get all my bearings from. You can just Google Avid RC and find it. This bearing is what they call an Aurora bearing. Now, this bearing has no shield on either side. This provides the freest spinning bearing of any bearing. So, this bearing would work better than any other bearing. But the downside, obviously, is that it's open. So, it can get dust and grime all in. And it can clog it up really quick and mess it up. So, the only time you really want to run an Aurora bearing is on the inside of like a transmission case or something that's sealed up because you don't want this to be exposed to any part of the weather or dirt or grime. Now I'm going to get into cleaning how I clean these bearings. Now Avid RC recommends using a citrus cleaner, a natural all-purpose citrus cleaner, soaking it in it, spinning it, making sure it's free, getting it clean, and then immediately putting water through it and rinsing out, rinsing out all the citrus cleaner and then blow it out with air. But when you blow these, you gotta hold them tight so that they don't spin. You don't wanna let your bearings, the air, spin your bearings because it can really mess up your bearings. So that's way too quick to be spinning a bearing. That's the main thing is that you just, uh, with that air, you don't want them to spin. You know, you don't wanna use a corrosive cleaner as well. You use a corrosive cleaner on these, like a carburetor cleaner or something, it can really destroy the bearing pretty quick. So, uh, citrus, an all purpose citrus cleaner clean it up, rinse water through it to get the citrus cleaner off of it, uh, blow it out, hold it so it doesn't spin, you don't want it to spin, blow it out, dry it, and then put some of uh, your bearing oil, whatever kind you use. I use Avid Slip Bearing Oil. I've used a lot of different bearing oils and this stuff is by far the best I've used. I mean, it does a great job. Absolutely excellent. You can see I hardly used any out of this thing and I paid $6 for this tube a long time ago and I hardly use any out of it. This is by far the best bearing. It's got the little tube, the little like pinpoint tip, it's real easy to get it on there, get it inside of there, and spin it. So this is by far the best. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a bearing overview. Like I said, I wish somebody would have made a video like this for me so I could understand it. Maybe this will help some people.
Thanks.